So he was trying to do some experimenting on the bench with his instrument cluster. He wanted to know how I powered the light bulb sockets. Well, this isn't as easy as it looks. I'm going to give you a clue, but because a lot of the clusters may be different in the way they're wired, this may not work for all clusters. But in the case of the W123 cluster that I had on the bench last week, all I had to do was bring positive power into the input side on the back of the potentiometer. Most of these are open. They have these brass type coated strips. So I just ran a sheet metal screw into the hole there that allowed me to connect the positive lead from my booster to that. And then I found the ground point. Usually on the cluster, you can find a ground point. It's located right here on the W123. Or you can even ground the other side, the clock and tack side, to the negative terminal on your battery booster, your battery, and power up your light bulb sockets. This will give you the chance to actually use the rheostat or the potentiometer to see how much they will brighten and dim. So <laughs> good luck. It may take some experimenting on your own particular instrument cluster.